Now, all of that is just the tip of the iceberg. That's the results. Those are the results. What makes it possible are the work that we do here. Developers who find a computing platform useful to them, developing amazing software on top of that computing platform, which goes off to introduce new ideas, new breakthroughs, new discoveries. It's all because of the work that you do here. That's what GTC is about. GTC is about you. GTC is about developers. Now, if you go back and think about where we started, GTC's first year was 2009. We introduced Tesla. We in invented CUDA in the year 2007. I think the, the GPU, many of you guys will probably still remember, the GeForce 8800 GTX. 8800 is potentially one of the most important GPUs ever created. It spawned off, of course, a whole generation of, of GPUs, and I'll show you one today. Two years later, we had our first GTC. And the statistics are interesting. The statistics are interesting. That year, we had 150,000 CUDA downloads. With almost no public awareness, with no public awareness, no advertising campaign, 150,000 downloads of CUDA was done so that you can experiment with accelerated computing. There were 27 CUDA apps. There were 60 universities that are now starting to teach CUDA accelerated computing. And of course, one of the things to realize is that what we enabled with accelerated computing is really the world's most popular, world's most accessible supercomputing platform. Any researcher, any student, any engineer can reach out very, very easily and get a GPU that is powered by CUDA and therefore could accelerate the research. 4,000 papers were written after about a year and a half. We shipped a whopping 6,000 GPUs under the brand of Tesla. Now that's in the context of 100 million we ship per year. Out of 100 million, we shipped 6,000. And there were 77 teraflops of GPU accelerated computing in supercomputers. Let's fast forward that just a few years. Now there are 3 million CUDA downloads, 319 CUDA applications, 800 universities around the world. This spans basically the globe. 800 universities around the world now teach CUDA and GPU acceleration. 60,000 papers, 60,000 papers citing the use of GPUs for the research and 450,000 GPUs now power supercomputers and high-performance compu high, high computing centers all over the world. And this statistics is absolutely shocking. There are now 54 petabytes of combined high-performance computing power that now powers the globe. Amazing progress, amazing progress in just a few years. I want to thank all of you for that. The promise that we made you and the promise we fight every day to keep are several things. One, we promise that by adding a GPU into your platform and by you making the effort to program that GPU, we will accelerate your code. We will accelerate your code not by a little bit, we will accelerate your code dramatically. Number two, that we seek always to find that fine balance between enhancing your productivity and making it easier and easier to program this platform, enhancing your productivity, while number, at the same time never losing sight of that fine delicate balance between easy to program to use a computer and that computer being incredibly fast. Most of the applications we serve are really about speed. Without the speed, it is simply impossible for you to do your work. One of my favorite quotes, and I said this to you guys a couple of years ago, was when a researcher came to me and said, Jensen, because of your work, 
I'm now able to do my life's work in my lifetime. That is what it's all about. We have to find that delicate balance between programmability and speed. And then number three, access. Any computing architecture worth a salt is really about access. You need to be able to reach out, and any researcher, any student, any developer, anywhere in the world, in any industry, should be able to reach out very easily and find this architecture. One of the things that we're most proud of, and it was a sacrifice we made early on, is put CUDA on every single GPU, long before people found value, value in it. By making it available on every single GPU, from desktops to laptops to supercomputers to data centers, and now in mobile devices, and now in your cars, by putting CUDA in every single GPU, we make it as easy as possible for you to develop and to deploy your software. And then lastly, of course, the beauty of an architecture, once you develop the software, if your partner is dedicated to advance that architecture day in and day out, day in and day out, Without you having to lift your finger again, the investment that you make improves over time all by itself. The power of Moore's Law. And that's what we promised you. And today, I'd like to show you that in every possible way, we're living up to that promise. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce our brand new GPU, the Titan X.